Great. Welcome back to more knowledge. And just following on in the last video is a uh, William the Conqueror. <coughs> I'm going to state to you now the Doomsday book was uh, basically connected to William the Conqueror, right? As you can see, yeah, uh, this is a uh, William, uh, the Doomsday book is, is um, yeah, referring to the, the conquering, supposed conquering of the uh, Britain by the Norman conquest. Right? And um, it's a book of records basically. Right? Eight and six, so that's year uh, 14. Double, uh, double seven, and then with the one, 15 to so six, contain records. Yeah, for English counties, basically, it's talking about a record keeping of all the people that was in the Britain, right? Doomsday Book. And yeah, you, 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 you pronounce it the Doomsday Book, right? So it's Doom, right? But yeah, uh, this, this, so the Doom, right? The Doom, as we know, the A basically becomes free, right? So you're talking about freedom, right? Freedom. So it's freedom or doom. Right, depending of course on what side of the year uh, you know tea drinking um fence you're on like see it's freedom or doom and this is you know like, like uh, a book of records right so obviously this is cured again right they're keeping records of who is in the tea program and who's a natural person right that's basically what this is uh, uh, referring to right the great survey right as they call it there how many volumes? Yeah, uh, you know, there's obviously, you know, all your codes, triple seven codes, etc. Right? The Doomsday Book. Right? It's a very interesting little uh, thing, this. The Great Survey, right? Liber, the win. There's the win idea again, right? Like the Windsor and the winner idea, right? What I looked out recently in a, in a couple of recent videos. So it's a, it's in um, again Williams Control of England. It's uh, records, details, land and our ship jobs, what animals people who hunt, right? So you can see what the sort of metaphor uh, for this is, right? It's basically talking about keeping records on who's in their tea program, right, and who's their uh, natural people. Control of England, feudal system, and Doomsday Book. Again, related directly to the William the Conqueror idea. Right? right. <coughs> Interesting here. Right? Doms. Remember the song Dig a Dom Dom. Dig a Dom Dom. The Doms, the Doms, the book. Right, so you're the free, right? The freedom. Or the doom. Dooms, dear, right? Freedom or doom. Duality. No, the dualities. The great Sylvia, right? The Tudor, of course, not the Tudor thing. The Tudor, or the Dalits, which is basically like the genus or the duality. Two doors, two dollars, two doorways, right? Like the genus, two faces, right? There, completed in 1086 by order of William the First, known as William the Conqueror, William the Bastard. And here I see the great survey, right? In Liber, the Winturnia. Not a liber idea is the tea drinking, the drinking, right? And of course the Alistair Crowley type of thing with the liber, liber 777, right? And there's the win again, the win, right? The tonic, eh? the tonic drinkers, right? A lot of curd in this. And there the book of Winchester, right? Again, very interesting because the, um, the chest, I like, is in the horse chestnut tear trees. Out the, out the COVID, right? The Wynn Chester. It's a cathedral city in Hampshire, right? 
a lot of interest in code in this here particular thing, right? Written in medieval Latin. Highly abbreviated. So we're basically listing all of the property, resources, manpower, right, and livestock, from which value derived. So basically surveying like everything that's of value or value to them in their sort of you know what the what the value in that means. Decisions were unalterable, like it was a last judgment. Sentence could not be quashed. Again, read this is given a lot of insight into the you know into the Masonic system, read. The last judgment, you know, obviously a lot of Christians go into this type of idea, right? And as you can see by this, it's here, uh, you know, it's basically showing you who's in, you know, who's really doing the judgment on people. The entire some spirit in the sky, like, you know what I mean? The day of judgment, the day of reckoning, or the day of the Lord, or the judgment day. Is part of Abrahamic religions, the James, the Ham James, like Hampshire. Ham James, read. James Hamish. So, this is a very interesting little uh, invaluable primary source for modern historians and historically, and not economists, economists, read. And the book was attempted again until 1873. Again, there's a triple seven good on your 666. So 666 on 777 good in that. The two and the owners of land. Victorian governing landed classes, right? Now it's 1873. The same the day, 2000 and there, 22. It's the same families basically are in all these here. Uh, what do you call it? Landed, landed gentry, the call of Manala. Very interesting little uh, document, this thing, like. County Palatine. Durham and Sardberger. Middlesex, of course, you know what the Middlesex is. Kent in Essex, the third sex. Livestock, eh? the numbers of livestock, but not peasant livestock. Remember what easy Tejing has referred to natural people as livestock, peasant livestock. Caput. Caput. Baldwin the Sheriff. Baldwin Fitzgilbert. Fifty two. Doomsday Book. Who are Compton? Brian and of EU, the French county in the Middle Ages, a fairly interesting link. There's your EU for you, your supposedly European Union, 
And this is really what it is, you know. The European Union is here. All these sort of houses of rich tea drinkers. No doubt, like that type of relations and that was still there, you know, existed as dear. There are sort of stately homes and stuff like that. So, a lot of interesting stuff in this year. What do you call it? Doomsday Book. The old Artois. Burgundy Nevers. The Duke of the Disguise. The tea as Disguise. Charles de Lorraine, <laughs> four, four of guys. A lot of tea drinkers in this here club, like <laughs> a lot of teas in it. Another interesting thing, read the catalogue of Baronum, which is a catalogue of the barons. A collection of registers of yeah, obligations owed by the barons of the Kingdom of Sicily. So we've seen the Sicily in uh, the last last video we'll open the William the Conqueror. Read. So like the Sicily idea. Yeah. Similar type of thing to do them the book read. You need register in there, you know, like keeping records of all the tea drinkers and all the um, non tea drinkers, right, basically. So who's involved in that sort of, you know, Masonic programs and who isn't. Basically, like. Live by book, Carter, Charter, Winchester, King Rogulus. Interest now to keep uh, mentioning the last judgment in this. Yeah. It's the doom being the usual English term or law or judgment. Of course, you have that type of dooms there thing all the time, you know, like yeah, doom and gloom. Basically, it's that like what news and stuff like that's based on, isn't it? Doom and gloom and all that. The day of judgment. A metaphor for tea drinkers basically to ex execute their judgment and that. See? On those who aren't in their tea program. It's a very, very good at like 1221. Which is like a 33. I think a 33, isn't it? He has a Cambridge, Cambridge shot hundreds, read. Six great dooms, the Asurgates, and the seventh. Also like the six and seven. Also like the yeah, Kent and Sussex, Middlesex and Cambridgeshire and all the rest. The East. Like all the East places, see? Eh? 